You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Bah! Yes, the Jarl's protege! Back from Bleak Falls Barrow! <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah! The Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster in the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragonstone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what to do. No, get 
back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training. The way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragons. <laughs> Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. 
Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are dragonborn, then. Already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. Your cousin. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Not what I say. Are you still working with the Ah, he's did it. You killed the dragon. The future of Skyrim! The future of Mr. Samriel. Did he And there it is! You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Grey Beards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nor nonsense. Why, you puffed-up ignorant. 
These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Lead the way. You look awful. Better not get me sick. 